guys welcome to techno trends today we are going to learn how to deploy the servlets into web server so uh, there are some steps to follow to deploy the servlets onto the web server the first step we need to follow is we need to install the tomcat server so the tomcat server will be available at the internet at uh, website uh, apache.tomcat.apache.org okay we will move on to the browser to download the tomcat server so apache tomcat.apache.org okay so here we are going to have these uh, versions okay i am going to select the tomcat 8 for my uh, servlet execution okay tomcat 8 so 8.5.38 this is the 32-bit or 64-bit windows service installer just click on it and it will give a pop-up to save the file which is of 10 mb size okay save file right it is downloading now uh, okay 37 6 okay so after downloading we need to install it and we need to follow some steps to configure our tomcat server okay let us wait for a while so it was downloaded yeah so open the folder double click on the tomcat server okay so s and uh, tomcat server setup uh, wizard will be open say next agree and select the type of the installation to full and say next this is the port numbers we need to consider and uh, this is the connector port which is 8080 default i am keeping it as default if you have any software which is running on the same port just change this to this port to config uh, avoid the any ambiguity for the port number so okay so and uh, uh, username for my tomcat administrator login is uh, root and the password is also root and say next and say next install and this is what happened when we are going to complete the things okay so installing is come doing on okay going on after installation we need to start the service and we need to run the tomcat server okay so show road me uh, read me i'm checking off okay and uh, say finish it will start the service for me to run the tomcat server okay right done now what i'm going to do is i am going to open check whether my tomcat was executed installed successfully or not okay so uh localhost colon 8080 and say enter uh, right so it is perfectly if you are seeing this you have successfully installed Tom tomcat congratulations say manager app okay so this is what uh, you are going to get when you have logged in if you are logged in first for the first time you need to enter your username and password okay let it be and uh, now we need to follow the next steps the second step we need to follow is write your servlet your servlet you need to write your servlet program which is written in totally java so i am going to open a editor for us okay so this is the editor okay and uh, I'm going to create a new file okay so control s first servlet dot java s so uh, import java dot io dot star import java x dot servlet dot star import java x dot servlet dot http dot star public class first servlet extends h generic servlet public void main sorry is main main will not be here service servlet request object or eq comma servlet response object or es 
which throws I O exception comma servlet exception right okay so next res dot such content type of text slash html so this is to set our response response page whatever the servlet created the response page that is should be contain the html content okay so next uh, we need to create the out uh, uh, writer for our uh, response okay so print writer which is of the io java.io package out is equal to res dot get writer okay done now out dot println i need to write hello world right okay so this is what i need to write and i need to save it as servlet.java first servlet.java and now i need to compile this file okay so go for the command prompt and uh, at the desktop on the desktop i got a servlet folder and uh, java c space first servlet dot java so perfect okay so the next step write your servlet and uh, compilation of the servlet so i have done with the compilation also okay and uh, when i have completed this one right i will get a dot class file also here look this one so first servlet dot class file also i got okay so this is what i need to get and after that creation of the web application folder you need to create your web application folder in tomcat server okay so for that purpose i will move on to the tomcat uh, execute uh, installation folder program files apache tomcat and uh, 8.5 and uh, web apps web apps is the tomcat uh, application folder okay i am going to have and here i need to create a new folder with the name srec okay so and next creation of the web application folder i have completed and my web, web application folder name is srec and next creation of the web iphone inf folder web information folder in your web application folder so new folder right web hyphen inf remember all are capital letters no small letters will be there and hyphen will be compulsory okay and next step six creation of classes folder under web hyphen inf folder right so in web hyphen inf folder i am going to create a folder called uh, classes with all small letters and this is the classes folder which is going to contain all the source packet source files of your web application the source files consider the dot class files okay so classes will be going to have your dot class file and now you need to create the web.xml file in the desktop okay so sublime text editor again i am creating a new file i am saving it as web.xml file okay so web.xml file is the file called deployment descriptor which is going to contain the information of the servlets which are available in your tomcat web server okay so to maintain the information of the servlets we need to uh, consider some information the information is servlet name and a class associated with the servlet okay and uh, the name to be called to call name to be used to call the 
servlet from any HTML page or browser. This is going to call as URL pattern, right? So these are the information. This is the information which is going to be available at the web.xml file. First, we are going to have the web hyphen app as our root folder, root tag, and uh, then I am going to have a uh, tag called servlet, and uh, along with the servlet, I am going to have a one more tag called uh, servlet mapping okay so which is going to contain the information of the mapping so servlet hyphen name right along with the servlet hyphen name i'm going to have the servlet hyphen class okay and at the servlet mapping i'm going to have the servlet uh, name sorry small letters not capital letters and uh, URL pattern alright now the servlet name is my servlet and the same servlet name will be used here to call your servlet and next servlet class which I have created earlier first servlet so my servlet class is first servlet okay and the url pattern to call my servlet is first it should start with slash so this is my web.xml file so i have created my web.xml file in on the desktop okay and next copy the servlet to your web server so i am need to copy my servlet to the web server which is on the desktop right to the classes folder of my web application so first I need to copy the servlet uh, class file to the classes folder right so copy s now copy it and next Along with the classes file, I need to copy one more information called web.xml file onto my web-inf folder, right? So web.xml file onto web-inf folder. Okay, so I got it onto this, right? So my web application is ready. Now you need to execute your servlet. To do so, you need to go for Tomcat. Okay first uh, you need to stop the service okay i am stopping my tomcat service right and then i am starting again my service and here type in your application name srac slash your url pattern to consider right so my url pattern is slash first okay so slash first and say enter s now my application has open right so hello world is displaying which is written on my first servlet hello world is there and uh, I have executed and I got the output hello world so like this you are able to execute first you need to install and then you need to dump your servlet and you can execute your servlet programs from your Tomcat server right so thank you very much guys and we will look forward uh, I will look forward to like my video and subscribe to my channel and comment share and or uh, support my channel thank you very much and we will look after we will look uh, in the next chapter where how to execute the how to invoke the sublet from your html file thank you very much